Horace was a pirate. He sailed the southern sea, but years of scrubbing wooden decks had caused a gammy knee. He couldn't hoist the mainsail or reach the tall crow's nest, and halfway up the rigging he would stop to take a rest. The medics tried to fix him, but his leg just wouldn't mend. Alas for poor old Horace, his career was at an end. His boss, the pirate captain, scribed a letter with enjoyment. The final notice was received, announcing unemployment. Horace staggered down the gangplank, limped his way ashore, drank tankards from a local bar until his head was sore, found the local library, hid his face in pirate shame, borrowed a computer to submit job seekers claim. Occupation, a uh, pirate. Skills, map reading, washing floors, no longer steady on his feet, prefers to work outdoors. The online form completed, submission button pressed, now to the seaman's hostel for some supper and a rest. But all's not lost for Horace, though his knee will never mend, for within a seafront ice cream van, he has a female friend. A curly-haired admirer who had watched him from the jetty as his pirate ship crept into port. The lady's name was Betty. Horace has another secret, a hopeful source of pleasure, for deep within his jacket lurks a map of hidden treasure. He eats his seaman's supper, grabs pirate hat and coat, spots the lady selling ice cream, boards his brother's little boat, stores some burgers in the food box, buys a hairdryer for Bet. His mobile phone is fully charged, sat nav locations set. Raise the sails, check the ropes, make sure the food will last, pull the line to watch his flag, climb up the wooden mast. All aboard, he calls out loud to tempt his greatest fan. She paints her nails, grabs a book and locks the ice cream van. Three days aboard the little craft with special map in hand, they toast success with tots of rum and find the promised land. Collect the spade, proceed ashore, locate the treasure spot, dig deep and find an empty chest. His brother took the lot. So Sadly sailing backwards now, the flag still up above, Horace looks into her eyes and tells her of his love. No fortune made, adventure gone, he has no further dreams, except to live with Betty and to eat seafront ice cream.